Okay, this is going to be a chapter based video on getting started with QuickBooks Label Connector from AccuWare for QuickBooks Desktop Edition. Uh, now, forgive any interruptions if my phone were to ring or emails come in or anything, because this is going to be, I'm going to estimate probably about a five minute video, I hope, um, covering the same exact things you'd go through and going from never having used our application to getting it downloaded, installed, and authenticated to QuickBooks and I'll even finish with a little bit of touch on what you typically have to do with your label printer to get it working and you do have to have a label printer so if you find out about label connector for QuickBooks desktop edition from searching on YouTube and things like that and you get to our website the very first place you're gonna need to go is to our label connector for QuickBooks desktop page to get registered for the trial okay and you can certainly call us first and we can go over your requirements in fact I usually encourage that so that we know hey our application can definitely do what you want to do but you have to start off by getting registered for the trial here on this page okay and I'm just gonna do it the same way you would Okay, and I had to actually remove myself as a, a registered user so that I could just show you every step through the whole process. Okay, so we're registered. Okay, so I'm going to open up my email over here <coughs> and we'll wait for that email to come in. Okay, so here's, uh, I'll drag this over. Here's the email I just got. Okay. Um, and you can go to our support page to get this same trial but you still have to register first to get a username and password so we'll just download it right out of the email here the same way you would okay and uh, I'm gonna go through a quick I'm gonna uninstall the app here on my end so that you can witness the install so I should have done this ahead of time, but I'll just quickly uninstall that just to show you how quick it can be done. Okay, well I'm just quickly uninstalling the app in the background here. Give me a moment to just get that finished up. So you've got your download in the lower left corner. Uh, if you don't have Chrome, it might put it in your downloads folder. Okay, so we've uninstalled. So I'm just going to go through, open up the app, and I'll try to move everything over onto this one screen here so you can see all the screens, every one. Next, very simple install. Okay, so we've registered for the app we got the download email um, just so you know just for background you can get the download right from here but you still need to register so you can register from this page wh which is what I just did you know um, you'll need to have credentials so that when you install you have a way to log in right so alright so we're installed now so I'm um, opening up the app I'm going to move it over to the screen so you can see the app will open up here. Alright, let's see if I can get that to show up here. Let's open up the app on this screen. Okay. Alright, it's opening it on the other monitor. So I'm just going to log in. So it's a very simple login just put that email that you put in and the password that you registered with All right, so I'm going to drag this over so basically what you missed was just a simple login screen where you put in the email address that you registered with and the password very simple I definitely recommend saying you know s clicking the save this password box now the other thing that you haven't done yet, okay, is 
you need to be the first time you get connected to our application you need to be logged into QuickBooks as the admin and in single user mode and we only do that one time it's only required one time the reason you have to do that is because we're gonna get entered into this screen I'm just gonna show you some background here under integrated applications we're gonna get entered into this list when we do the connection okay we're not there now you see I took us out just so you could see the process but um, so this entry can only be made by the admin and in single user mode so this is a QuickBooks requirement it only has to happen once the first time you connect to our app so I'm gonna close this dialog box I've got QuickBooks open here so we're gonna head and gonna go ahead and just connect and we give you that warning that you gotta be logged in as the admin and in single user mode go ahead and c continue and this is the screen that QuickBooks pulls up okay um, usually at the bottom of the screen you'll see this might flash and you might not see that this window is open but it's a QuickBooks window that opens basically just saying hey do you want to let a label connector you know connect to your data and you say yes when QuickBooks when the QuickBooks company file is open and continue I'll drag this over for you yes and done okay so now we're connected to the QuickBooks database and you don't have to do this step but just so you can see that we're connected now if I go back to that same place okay under preferences integrated applications you'll see label connector is now in the list so again that can only be done in single user mode logged in as the admin but once we're in this list you can then log in as any QuickBooks user and use our software. Now, in some remote cases, if you create a QuickBooks user that's so locked down, like a shipping guy user, that he can't see anything like invoices or sales orders or anything like that, in some cases, not in all cases, we've seen where, you know, if you search for an order, let's say, in our application, it, it just won't come up because that user for QuickBooks that's logged in at the moment is just so locked down. So basically what I'm going to do is just show you that we're connected here real quick. Uh, we'll just pull up this. Let's, let's get one that has a few items on here. We'll pull up 8805 in label connector. Okay. So you just search on the order. And boom. Up comes the order in our software. So the next step you would do is to go into the designer and design your label. Now I've got separate videos on how to use the designer I won't kind of get into the details of designing your first label, you know, but you can see just from this example that, you know, we can do quite a bit in the designer now. Uh, lines, images, barcodes, and text. Fixed data sources are for things like this that don't vary with QuickBooks, and then dynamic data sources that are data, you know, that are driven from a QuickBooks element. Uh, are use these data sources from QuickBooks as their origin. So, so we'll just close this. <coughs> All right. So you see we're connected to QuickBooks. Now the last thing, besides designing a label, that you'll need to do, and I see this in most cases, is you'll need to go into your label printer, and if you're designing, for example, like a uh, a four by three label, I'll just use that as an example. Um, you'll need to go into your devices and go into your label printer and we can help you with this but basically you'll need to go into the properties of your label printer okay and I have a separate video on this but you, you some people just go into preferences I think you need to go a level deeper it kinda depends on the printer driver and the printer manufacturer but I recommend going into the printer properties okay and and unfortunately each printer looks a little different in the driver but go to advanced go to printing defaults and make sure this page size is accurate to whatever page size your label is if your label is 4x3 instead of 4x6 you gotta set that here and then we set dithering to none you know so that the some of the graphical elements that we do even with some of the text fields they just print crisper if this looks like just a black and white you don't want this type of a setting in your printer driver you want it to be just purely black and white so you apply or use that setting and then I usually do is on the way out under general I check preferences to make sure the page size and see it, it didn't uh, inherit into here right so set it in there as well 
and then your printer is ready to go. And again, I have a separate video on that as well. So, so that's you know coming into our website, getting registered, getting connected to QuickBooks for the first time. Again, that's only a one-time procedure. And then you'll have to go and design your label, and we have a separate video on that, but we'll help you with any of this. Uh, and then when you go to print that label for the first time, you know, if you've made a, a two by one la label, let's say, then you're going to have to go into your printer properties and set that page size to two by one. And we do have a warning for that now. So, but this, I hope this helps. It's kind of an end to end, um, you know, from initial inquiry on our website through to the download, the install, and the connection of Label Connector. Thanks, and I uh, hope this helps. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to call us at 630-858-8410. Thanks.